Hey guys, in this video we're gonna talk about how you can lower ping in Roblox so make sure to watch till the very end. Alright, so let's begin. Let's get started with the first fix for a high ping on Roblox. So the first thing you need to do is actually come on to your desktop. And what you want to do is close any applications which may be using the internet. For example, if you've got an app downloading something or you're doing an update, make sure to pause it or stop it. And if you're unsure if an app is using a lot of internet, then all you want to do is go and use your task manager. So either you can press Ctrl Alt Delete keys at the same time and open it, or you can go and search for task manager in the search bar at the bottom and open it up. Once it opens up, you can see on the right hand side, you've got this thing called network. And as you can see, Google Chrome is using a bit. So I could go and close that and hopefully the internet usage will be reduced causing in lower ping. But the second thing is you want to go and try is actually by pausing any antivirus you may have. So if you have an antivirus software, this can sometimes increase the ping because it's blocking certain things. So if you think that is the problem, either go and pause it or close it, and you can often go and find if your antivirus is running by clicking on this show hidden icon button just here. Every antivirus is slightly different when it comes to pausing it. So you may need to go and search that specifically but it should be fairly clear. For the third fix, it's actually going to be using ethernet or moving close to your router. So sometimes if you're using your internet far away from the router and you're using wireless, this can increase the ping because it takes long time for your computer to connect to your router. So it's definitely worth trying to move your computer even closer to the router or by going and getting an ethernet. So that means plugging it directly in via cable. But you can also get these adapters called power line network adapters and it's going to create a stronger wireless signal and you can also go and use ethernet so it's definitely worth looking into those but now let's go and get into the next fix so this is actually by using our windows firewall so all you need to do is come down to the magnifying search button click on it and what you want to do is go and search for windows defender now go and click on windows defender firewall then this is going to open up just like this. And all you need to do is come on to the left hand side and click on the advanced settings embed. It will then open a dialog box. So once you're here, you then want to go and click on inbound rules just like so. And you want to come over to the right hand side and we're going to go and create a new rule. Now just before I go and press that you want to go and open up your browser. Now search for Roblox general connection problems and then go to this article here. Once you're here, all you need to do is scroll down. And here you can see the heading for, make sure the appropriate ports open. So here the ports that Roblox uses is dependent on the operating system. The port range is currently this one, so just highlight it and copy it. Now, click back onto Windows Defender Firewall. And then you want to go click on New Rule under Inbound Rule and then we're going to get this pop up here. So all you need to do is go and press on port and then go and press next. As you can see, we've got a few options here. We just need to make sure we go and select UDP and then we can go and put in the specific local ports. Now, paste the code by right clicking and selecting paste. Then what you want to do is remove the space between the numbers and the hyphen or dash. So just remove them then all you need to do is go and press next. And what you want to do is press allow the connection and then you want to have them all selected and press next. Now you can go ahead and name this Roblox inbound then press finish. Now what you want to do is go back to your Windows Defender firewall. And what I recommend doing is going and doing the same thing for the outbound rules. So go ahead and click on outbound rules just like so. And then all you need to do is go and press a new rule. So you need to select port again and repeat the exact same process. Make sure UDP is selected and then go and paste the ports. Also make sure to remove that space again, then press next. And make sure you click allow the connection, then wait for it to load. Now make sure all of these are selected and then you can go and name this Roblox outbound. After that, you can go and press finish. That's it. You've now gone and added the inbound and outbound rules. And hopefully that's going to lower your ping. 
And if you're still having the problem, then just go and Google Roblox status. Open this website, it's official by Roblox, and see if you've got any sort of issues. If there are any, just wait for them to get resolved. That's how you can lower ping in Roblox. So that's all for today's video. If you find this helpful, consider subscribing and giving this a big thumbs up. Thanks.